Hi everyone. Today I was thinking of trying something different. My name's Lonnie and if you're new, welcome. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, so for my journal, let me see which one I'm going to work on today. Let's do the healing journal. For today's project, I was thinking of making a pocket. And I thought, how many pockets can you make? After a while, they seem to all be the same. So then I thought, hmm, what can I do to make it different? And I thought of a corner pocket and I thought, yeah, I've done that before too. However, then I thought, how about a corner pocket that has more than one layer to it? So I'm thinking I'm going to start with a six by six size piece of paper. Two-sided would be nice, but I don't have that in this size. And I haven't actually done one before, so I'm not sure if these things need to be directional or not. These are all the 6 by 6 pages I have left. And I'm not crazy in love about any of them. Let's see. Stones. That kind of reminds me of stones. Maybe we can do those. So yeah, I bought those a while back at the dollar store. I haven't seen any since. So I don't know if it was a one-time thing. Oh, where to put stuff? Okay, there for now. All right, so what I was thinking, because corner pocket I thought would work really well if we um, folded it in half. Now this has an edge to it, so does this one. So I'm just gonna cut that off. Maybe I'll fold it first and see where it's sticking out. It probably won't be folded perfectly anyway, so. Now, I think what's gonna happen here is it's going to be, <laughs> too big. So, I can either go for a lot smaller pocket or cut this one down a bit. I think I'm going to first try to cut this one down a bit. I'm just going to take a half an inch off. Okay. So that will be in the corner that way. Let me see if it fits now. Yes, it will. 
And then these things have to be opened. And I was thinking of giving them a kind of a fancy edge, but maybe I'll just cut that open. Just cutting a sliver off the end there. So how are you doing today? Hope you're doing well. Are you staying in the word? Are you making a healing journal? I would sure love to hear some comments or read some comments from people who are actually making something that we're talking about here. It doesn't overly matter, but I don't really enjoy crafting all by myself. <laughs> Funny as that sounds. All right, so what I'm going to do, because this is all going to be inside and on a page. I'm going to turn all the images one way if I can, like so. And I think I will ink. Sometimes you get new ideas and you implement them by grabbing new materials to work with, so it's new in that sense. Other times you actually have to do something you haven't done before, so. All right, so I decided I wanted it on a sturdy piece of paper. And I decided on this one. So I think the way it needs to go is this way. So the first one the first one so we're going to put glue on the edges. No one has ever accused me of making a straight line. Oh well, it's only glue. All right, so put this right in the corner. Actually, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space. I think actually it would be cool if I made them staggering. able to see too much of it because oh I'm sure somebody's done this before but what I actually had in mind was um, a bit more of an accordion one where they would where you'd be able to open them up but I don't think that's possible because they have to be stuck down on the edges so there you go. I think you have an original idea and you try to do it and then it doesn't work. Oh well. We're making corner pockets. Graduated. Okay. Gradual. Graduated. Staggering. I don't know. What do you call that? Whatever you want to call it. Go ahead. Needs a little more. And 
and it may not even be not quite at the right angle. I just figured since this was a book with not very many pages, if we put more than one pocket on a page, it would hold more verses or notes. These uh, journals can be used for actually writing in. They don't have to contain just scripture. Although that's the part that I'm showing you. Okay, one more. That'll work. Okay. So it looks like we have four pockets. All right, we have four pockets. <laughs> That's better than no pockets. Okay, so then we could decorate this with something. Or we could decorate down here. I still really like these um, altered. They're not hidden, but they're altered. This one has some um, denim and then a stamp and then a little piece of lacer. So I'm going to do that. And then I have room for a plethora of verses. So let's see, what have we got? Heal me, O Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are my praise. Jeremiah 17, verse 14. That can go in the short one. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. That Second Samuel 22, verse 4. So that can go in the next pocket. Is anyone among you sick? Then he must call for the elders of the church, and they are to pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they will be forgiven him. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. That's James 5, verses 14 through 16. That's going in the third pocket. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your sight. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them and health to all their body. Proverbs 4, verse 20 through 22. I think that would have room in the back one. And they could all hold more than one. I'm just showing you the different. And then we could put something back here yet. And this is a verse that I wrote down just as a note. Just a note. He restores my soul. Psalm 23, verse 3a. And that can go in there. 
but I would put it behind. Two, remember I just glued these two. I don't want them to get stuck in the glue, so I'll probably just put them in loosely like so. Yeah, they can kind of stick out in a messy fashion. Not everything has to be so neat. There, a messy page. Some of you will like that and some of you will not. That's okay. I don't mind it. They're all in here and I like the way uh, Pam at the uh, Paper Outpost puts it. She says, I like to make explorative journals. So then you go in and you look at the things that are inside and you just have fun looking at the things. You don't always have to do something with it. All right, so do I want anything there? I have this little card. And it's the same thing that I put there. I think I want that there. I'm just going to ink it a little. There. So, a corner pocket that has layers. <laughs> Someone named Shrek in a movie once said everyone likes layers. Oh no, that was the donkey. He said everyone likes layers. Well, here you go. Here's some layers for you. Um, that's what I have for you today. I hope you had at least a chuckle and maybe an idea. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.